Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience. I have in front of me a Dominaria booster box. I really enjoyed the Dominaria expansion when it came out all the way back in 2018. I came across this one at a great price, mainly because the outer box has a little bit of damage right here along the bottom. So I picked it up because I knew I wasn't going to keep it as a display piece, but I really wanted to crack it open. Including this video, I'll do six videos of cracking six booster packs per video, and then at the end I'll do a review video to recap all my great pulls. I'm really looking to pull a Mox Amber. I'd love to pull a Teferi. There aren't a ton of valuable cards in the set, but the nostalgia of the set is really awesome. All right, I'm gonna open up this booster box and crack open the first six booster packs. Tell me in the comment section if you've opened up some Dominary recently. Was it great? Did you enjoy it? Did you have some awesome pulls? Once I get the outside plastic off, I can see a little bit more of the damage. Hopefully none of the cards in this booster box are damaged. Front art of the box has Karn, Teferi, and Joyra. There are the booster packs. They look all pristine. So I'm really hoping that, yep, there is no damage. Okay, I'm gonna push the booster box off to the side here. This reminds me of the good old days when there weren't draft booster boxes, set booster boxes, play booster boxes, collector booster boxes. You really had one booster box and it had 36 booster packs and 15 cards per pack. Pretty simple. Of course, the only time you get multiple rares was if you pulled a regular rare or a full rare. All right, set those off to the side. And first pack. All right, unwind. Adamant Will, Warlord's Fury, Mammoth Spider, Stronghold Confessor, the kicker mechanic made a return during Dominaria, Coldwater Snapper, Cloud Reader Sphinx. This was a nice common in draft. Gift of the Growth, there's that kicker mechanic again. Guardians of Koilos, Fungal Infection. The Sapperling deck was a lot of fun. I had a black green Sapperling deck during the Dominaria standard environment. Okay, move that off to the side. Uncommons, Song of Freilis. This was one of the cards I had in that Sapperling deck. Powerful Enchantment Saga. The first time that Sagas made their appearance in Magic the Gathering. Memorial to War. Tiana Ship's Caretaker. And the first rare out of the box is Fall of the Thran. So, one of the Sagas. During the video, for any rares and mythics, I'll put the price down here. And then any commons, uncommons, tokens, if they're over a dollar, I'll put that price there as well. Okay. With the planes and a knight token. So the planes and the tokens right there. Move the uncommons up here. Put the rares there. If I happen to pull any mythics, they'll go there. And I'll figure out a spot for the foils. Okay, moving along. Diavant Trapper, Gitu Lava Runner, Lanawar Envoy, Divest, Opt. There was a lot of noise when this was printed. Now it sees printing in a lot of sets. Charge. Jousting Lance, Baloth Gorger, Call the Calvary, another card that I really liked in draft, Power Stone Shard, Uncommons, Lingering Phantom, Sarah Angel, so iconic, Sage of Latinam, Kazarov Sengir Pureblood, 
with a forest and a sapperling token. I really like that sapperling deck. It was so much fun. Started out small, but it could really overpower. Gitu Journey Mage, Llanowar Scout, Drudge Sentinel, Rescue, Sarah Disciple, Bloodstone Goblin, Vicious Offering, another card that was just fantastic in draft. And I played a playset of it in my Sapperling deck. Easy to sacrifice a creature and take out just about any creature my opponent had. Deep Freeze, Deathbloom Thalid, Sapperling Migration. Okay, on to the Uncommons. Thorn Elemental, Chainer's Torment, Danitha, Capuchin Paragon. This was a really fun card in draft as well. And then my rare is going to be one of the lands in the set, Hinterland Harbor. So in the set, the enemy colored lands where if you controlled a forest, an island in this instance, the card would come into the battlefield untapped. With a mountain and a sapperling token. Get those common uncommons out of the way. Okay, halfway through it, get through these next three packs. I realize that I'm going through these packs a little slower than normal, and that's because I really enjoy opening the cards, and a lot of them will evoke memories from back when I played draft or was playing decks that I put together for the standard environment. Arbor Armament. Caligo Skin Witch, Unwind, Excavation Elephant, quite a few kicker cards, Gitu Chronicler, Pierce the Sky, Eviscerate, Pardic Wanderer, Gideon's Reproach, Yavamaya Sapherd. This was a great card in Limited and it was awesome in the Sapperlane deck. Okay, on to the Uncommons. Ambolus's Clutches, Nature Spiral, Sorcerer's Wand, and a mythic Multani Yavamaya's Avatar. I was able to play with this, I remember, in a draft format. If you could get the card to go off, it was pretty powerful. So that's a mythic. I'll set that off to the side right here. Alright, last two packs. For this episode at least. Cabal Paladin, Homerate Explorer, Invoke the Divine, Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Blessing of Belzenlock, Voltaic Servant, there is a really good combo deck in Limited with Voltaic, Servant, and Traxos. Maybe I'll pull Traxos as one of the rares coming up. Blink of an Eye, great card. I remember this one for Limited. Shivan Fire, or Shivan Fire, I'm not entirely sure which is the correct way to pronounce it. Blood Tallow Candle, okay. Onto the Uncommons, Merfolk Trickster, Fantastic card in the flash deck. Really was annoying to play against. Warcry Phoenix. Tatiova Benthic Druid. At one time, this was an uncommon that got as high as 4 or $5. It's been reprinted, and now it's probably around a quarter. And then another mythic. This is going to be Phyrexian Scriptures. Another very powerful mythic in the limited format with a Swamp and a Cleric token. All right, final pack. Relic Runner, Knight of New Benalia, Frenzied Rage, Feral Abomination, Arbor Armament, Pegasus Courser, 
Llanowar Elves, another harken back to the early days of magic. Love Llanowar Elves. The mana dorks are so fun in ramp decks. Academy Journey Mage, Mesa Unicorn, Howling Golem. Okay, on to the uncommons. Spore Swarm, fantastic card in the Sepperling deck. Slinvoda, the Rising Deep. And the rare is Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Let's see, put that rare right there. With the planes, the only foil so far in these first six packs, Call the Calvary. I'll just set that right there. And the Sapperling token. All right. I must have had, oh, right there. Howling Golem is an uncommon. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the uncommon and common set symbol at a distance. They look very similar. All right, I really enjoyed opening up the first six booster packs out of my Dominaria booster box. I don't know that I really pulled much in the way of value. Hinterland Harbor is probably around a dollar. These lands have been reprinted, so their values dropped some. Out of the two Mythics, I don't recall off the top of my head. They're probably somewhere around the dollar, maybe two dollar range. I could be wrong, maybe a little bit higher. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comment section what you think about my polls. Until next time when I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience.